Today, we're going to discuss new technologies that have the potential to radically transform the world of hybrid cars. The auto manufacturer Ariel Motor Company is preparing to release their electric vehicle, modestly named the Ariel Hypercar. Technically speaking, everything looks fairly standard for cars of this caliber. It has four electric motors, one for each wheel, boasting a combined power of 1,200 horsepower and 1,800 newton meters of torque. But as the battery only has a small capacity of 62 kilowatt hours, the weight is only 1,500 kilograms, which is relatively light for an electric vehicle. But as the battery only has a small capacity of 62 kilowatt hours, the weight is only 1,500 kilograms, which is relatively light for an electric vehicle. Ariel is famous for its lightweight vehicles. But there's another problem. The range on a single charge is quite low, only 240 kilometers. Considering that this car is very powerful, the range will be significantly lower under high loads. To address this, a new development from the Cosworth company has been introduced, a very compact and lightweight gas turbine engine, which generates 35 kilowatts of energy and operates at fixed RPM as a generator. And because it operates at a constant rate, they have managed to reduce the combustion temperature to 1000 degrees Celsius, which helps reduce NOx emissions. As a result, there is a small catalytic converter, but this converter has a heating system to comply with environmental norms during cold engine starts. We've already seen a similar catalyst heating system in the hypercar Mercedes AMG 1. In the aerial hypercar, they have managed to adapt a gas turbine engine for a regular electric vehicle, which significantly extends the range and can operate on various types of fuel. Thus, even on long trips, you won't have to worry about the infrastructure of electric vehicle charging systems. You can always turn on the cat gen generator and no matter whether you're accelerating, braking, or stuck in traffic, it will recharge your battery. The cat gen gas turbine system has previously been tested in hybrid Ford Transit vans. Let's take a closer look at how it works. In the first stage air is sucked in through the intake and is compressed, increasing the temperature and pressure. The compressed air then passes through the recuperator or heat exchanger and is heated further using energy, recovered from the exhaust gases. Fuel is introduced into the heated air and reacts continuously as it passes through the catalyst raising the temperature to 1050 degrees Celsius to further increase the flow energy the reaction. Process within the catalyst is flameless. It is not a combustion event instead, it is a controlled heat release or exothermic reaction. The expanding hot gases spin the turbine up to 110,000 revolutions per minute, driving the compressor and generator, both located on a common shaft. The cycle is continuous, with more air being compressed and heated, the used exhaust gases still contain a large amount of heat energy. From the reaction process this high energy waste gas flows back through the heat exchanger, heating the intake gases, as part of an energy recovery process, the final gases exit the cat gen at less than 350 degrees Celsius. Thanks to the energy, recovered using the heat exchanger, fuel is only used for half of the work to increase the temperature from 650 to 1050 degrees Celsius. The result of this is increased efficiency and reduced fuel. Meanwhile, the aerial hypercar is being fine-tuned and it can already accelerate to 60 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds, and to 100 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. Friends, share in the comments what you think about the Cat Gen gas turbine engine. And what future do you envision for electric vehicles?